Hi, I'm Dave Cuthbertson from AssetGen. I'm going to take you through a quick tour of the AssetGen SysMap Professional evaluation version that you can download from our website. The AssetGen SysMap software maps your critical infrastructure such as servers to your business applications, services and processes to support both change control as well as risk and dependency analysis. It works very much in conjunction with our other software, AssetGen Connect, that's more designed for data centers and the physical infrastructure and there's a separate video that covers the evaluation version of AssetGen Connect. AssetGen SysMap is available in two main versions, the desktop version and also is available as a multi-user server version with the same functionality but with the addition of the web browser so that uh, anybody with uh, a standard intranet access can get the same information about systems and server dependencies. AssetGen SysMap is a multi-user SQL database that combines the business view of IT systems with various existing trusted sources where for instance we could be taking information from monitoring tools and service desks and combining them with the business view to then show these types of outputs. So it could be impact and dependency analysis either singly or in a multiple approach where for instance we're releasing multiple changes or virtualizing 30 servers as part of an upgrade program. But we could also provide Excel outputs and Visio diagrams that explain the complexity of the IT systems and the mappings between all the hardware, software and services. And on the bottom left hand side there you can see a typical database mapping involving somewhere around 50 odd servers and for most people anything 50 servers and above up to 25, 30,000 which is our largest customer and uh, AssetGen SysMap scales very well. What we'll do first of all is log into the application using the password and login that you were given. The configuration item viewer shows us all the groups and types in which we've decided to categorize all our configuration items. So for instance under the software group we have four types such as applications, middleware and services. Under the service tab we then have uh, Linux, logical, physical. These groupings are up to you and the system can be configured based around whatever your internal standards and objectives are. At the top here we also have a most recently used list, so if I for instance select server win 001, this is a quick way to navigate to things which you've uh, been working on previously. Server win 001 has multiple sets of information. At the bottom to start with we can see that this is cross reference to a physical piece of hardware located in the computer room in cabinet 0103. The configuration item can have various attributes more appropriate to system mapping so here for instance I've got the end of life status, the recovery status and maybe some technical details. We can reference various external documents or trusted sources. Typically this is used by the server version so for instance if I wish to uh, look at the recovery plan for the server this is actually based sitting on a server in a particular directory so anybody can find this. This server has a number of relationships, it's currently supporting two databases, accounts and payroll, and it doesn't have any children devices. If for instance we were software it would probably be different, we would have uh, a software supported by servers, but it is supporting maybe for instance a business service or process. We can have some local notes about the server, and to try and understand the impacts of change that this server could have, we have an impact analysis form that then allows you to understand the impact on any of the other groupings. So for instance if I select the business grouping I can then see business impact of this server. This would potentially impact four different business functions. If the question was different I want to understand the software impacted I would choose the grouping differently so let's look at it from a software perspective and this would impact these three different software applications. Very simple easy way to find out and this is what we call a single configuration item impact analysis. Also against the server, for any configuration item we maintain a full audit log of all changes. So whether it's uh, a change to the actual component itself or a change to the relationships with other components as well. So that's the configuration item viewer. If we go up to the impact analysis tab at the top here, we can also do a multiple impact analysis where what we may want to do is to change maybe 10 servers or we may want to find for our top 20 services all the underlying components. To make it easy for you you can also save these as templates so for instance if you click on the templates 
a new build up for instance the impact of a new project release and then we load this using this icon this is going to give us the ability to see what's the business impact of these changes are both changing some Unix boxes, a blade server and also some software applications as you can see there. The first thing I'll do is I will run this to extract out and make sure that these, all these components are still available. I can untick these boxes if I wish but I can now do a business impact analysis on all of those in one go and so this is the potential risks caused by the release of those hardware and software components. Likewise I could have my top 20 services and I could find all underlying servers that are supporting them. If I wish to understand a little bit more about the impacts I can always then draw a diagram of this and we give you multiple ways of doing this. If for instance you pick up a uh, server of Win001 for the most recently used list, on the right hand side you'll see various options and the first thing I'll do is I'll just put in a title, new server impact we have various search types, uh, we'll cover these in a separate video but basically what I want to do is I want to look upwards into the, the business view of the service and the output type here is to do a new Visio diagram but I could also compare existing diagrams and update them so I can have standardized service maps produced by Asset and Sysmap and so for instance if I uh, now run this and it's now produced a Visio diagram of everything that was in the database and so this would be a single configuration item diagram here for instance is a multi-service diagram that we can produce so we can see the impact and dependencies across multiple services here we have a diagram that shows for instance the top-down view of a service and all the underlying components this is relatively simple in that there's only eight different hardware components and the rest is all software but in many cases this will tend to be a lot more complex and so you will lay this out and this is why we give you the ability to both create and update the Visio diagrams. So we can produce diagrams in multiple ways. We have various reports and the tools menu allows you to configure and change the setup of the system. The utilities allow us to import and export uh, information and so for instance just to show the flexibility if you click the export we can then take out configuration items and filter them. If you do this regularly you can set up some templates so if you click on the templates here we have for instance a list of all the software applications that support status if I uh, load this this will do a spreadsheet with the group and type of the configuration items it will put on the spreadsheet all of these various uh, attributes that you see ticked it will filter out the grouping called software but we could have multiple groupings if I click run, here is then the spreadsheet that actually shows all the different software applications within the system and their current status and support. Very quick and easy way to get information out of the system to support communication to other groups and also to verify where we have gaps or errors. To finish with, I hope what you've seen there with system mapping is that we can communicate IT system complexity in both diagrams, lists and forms, particularly the impact form. The flexible data structure that we have allows you to communicate complex system dependencies and also import data from various uh, external sources you may already have and also to, it allows you to keep pace with technology as new systems and software develops. Also the ability to have different output formats means depending on the need, sometimes you may need a diagram, sometimes the impact form, but also we can do multi-CI reporting where we want to summarize impacts and dependencies maybe for uh, releases but also where we're doing disaster recovery planning. As a next step, uh, try it out yourself. The evaluation version now you've got is fully functioning. There are other videos which actually go into more detail on some of the particular functions of both AssetGen Connect and SysMap. And if you want to understand the various versions and pricing and any training or implementation issues, please contact us. All. There's my email address or alternatively fill in our website contact form. Thank you very much.